As the name implies, sea lions are a species that belong in the sea, not in our rivers. Um, a sea lion is not a small creature. Um, for scale, please uh, note the Toyota Corolla. A stellar sea lion um, is 11 feet long and 2,500 pounds. These are behemoths, and um, Toyota Corolla 15 feet and uh, 3,000 pounds. Um, and when Congress amended the Marine Mammal Protection Act to expand le lethal removal authorities, it provided that eligible managers along the Columbia River could remove up to 450 California sea lions and 176 stellar sea lions during the five-year life of the take permit. Yet we have only seen our managers come close to these max. We, we haven't even seen them come close to reaching um, these levels. In 2024, only 27 California and 21 stellar sea lions were removed at Bonneville Dam. As of July this year, only 26 and 11 have been removed. Ask yourself, why, why are these numbers so small? The arduous process of removal is a key feature. I'm concerned that the factors contributing to this severe utilization, namely the cost and the onerous back and forth of trapping the creature, identifying its threat, shaking a can of pennies at it, retrapping, and then finally darting, contribute heavily. Uh, we've done some back of the envelope math to try and determine the cost to remove sea lions under the permit. Um, from our estimates, it costs over $38,000 per removal. Uh, from the Columbia River. That's roughly $203 per salmon saved in state and taxpayer federal dollars. Um, I was successful in including language in the FY26 Commerce Justice and Science Appropriations report that passed out of committee that would, directly, uh, would direct your agency to conduct a study on the most effective strategies for pinniped removal, considering factors such as animal health and cost. So my question to you, Mr. Rock, could you tell me more about what NOAA is actively doing to ensure that current pinniped removal strategies are the most effective and if direct kill strategies are being considered? Thank you for the question. Yeah, the current permits, as you indicate, do authorize uh, direct mortality uh, removals. And we do think that in the Pacific Northwest for these species, that is the most effective way. We have tried over the years to, to uh, employ non-lethal removals. We have uh, move them hundreds of miles away and they do come back. Faster than the people taking them out. Perhaps. <laughs> um, they do come back. They are remarkably resilient and they do know where their food source is. It is very difficult to uh, encourage them to leave with anything less than uh, uh, force. 